Hey there, so you know you want to write winning grants, but how do you know which grant to go after? Or which ones are worth your time? Is it too small to go after? Am I gonna, do I have any chance at winning? How competitive is it? You know, what's really worth your energy and your limited resources to pursue? And that is what we're going to be talking about. The answer is having a funding strategy, which is something we teach and only we teach in this way. And I'm gonna get into that in this video. Catch you there. All right, so what is a funding strategy? A funding strategy is a roadmap where you're articulating what grants you're going after and when. It's a 12 to 18 month plan where you're laying out exactly maybe what needs to be done before you're ready to pursue grants and then exactly those two to five grants you're going to pursue and in what order. So the point of this document is to help you figure out, basically stop chasing grants haphazardly and actually have a strategy on how you're going to leverage one grant like a domino to hit the next one, to win the next one, and the one after that. So it's an important way to kind of step back, think about your project holistically, because in your grant applications, every single one you pursue, you wanna be talking about the next one that you're pursuing with if this one is funded. So we can show that the impact that they're having, their investment isn't just them paying for everything, your investment is a fraction because it's gonna help leverage these other grants, right? So we want to turn a $25,000 donation into a hundred thousand hands down before you start spending it. But the problem is if you want to go after several grants and you spend the first one and there's too much time between those two grants, then this domino knocks over, but it has no effect on this one, right? So that's why it's really important that we put together a funding strategy where it's like, okay, this is our campaign. This is our plan. We're going all in on this. These are the grants we're pursuing and they're in close succession, right? So I can just really go on and on and on about funding strategies because I'm super passionate about it. And I wanted to first give you some background on where the heck these concepts even came from and then how we teach it. So I started grant writing for an engineering firm and the engineering company, uh, basically, as you can imagine, the project managers found out that there's this girl that helps get grant funding for our clients. So obviously I got inundated with requests, which was a really cool blessing. I got to work on projects all over the US and Western Canada and just learned a lot. It was great. But I also was thrown into the deep end on some really complicated projects. And what I found is that one grant never could fund it all. You know, these, I needed to think about multiple grants and more often than not, it wasn't just writing the grant. It was like, well, what, planning work actually still needs done to even be competitive, right? And guiding that. So that was how this whole funding strategy concept started to morph and really shape into a process that I could repeat on any type of project, no matter what it was, and teach others to use, right? So let's break it down. What is the funding strategy process as we teach it? So first of all, we're gonna start with what is your project? What is it you're trying to get funded? We talk a lot about in the course how you actually structure that to be successful um, in terms of how you describe what you want to get funded. All right, so then you enter it into a grant database. We teach you how to use our favorite grant database, which is Instrumental. Um, and then you're going to basically get 100 plus grant opportunities out of that, which is super exciting, but you're not applying for 100 grants, right? Who has time for that? And they're not all a great fit. So we teach you the couple steps that you take to be able to filter through, well, what opportunities are really making it onto my give it another look list, right? And that's going to get you down to about 20 grants, 15 or 20. So then once you have that list, that's much more manageable, right? We can really deep dive on 15 to 20 grants. And then at this phase, this is when we're going and confirming, okay, how competitive is it? And if you've seen any of my other videos, I harp on this, but we want to be targeting grants with at least a 20% or greater chance of success, right? So we're at least applying for grants that have like decent odds, right? Because if you don't, then it doesn't matter if you have a perfect application, someone else will too. So anyway, that's a tangent. But then you, this is also the phase where we reach out to funders and we confirm, hey, you think we're a good fit? What advice do you have for us to be um, more competitive, right? Like there's a whole lot of strategy in that. And then at the bottom of the funnel, 
are the two to five grants that passed all of those questions, passed all those tests, and they're really the ones that make the most sense for you to pursue. They're worth the most, they, you have the highest likelihood of success, they make a lot of sense together, and together that's gonna fund your entire project. So that's a funding strategy where you actually take those two to five grants and you document them in a two to three page memo that goes out to your board, to your boss, just to your team, and it's your roadmap that says, no, we're not dropping everything to pursue this random grant that I was just emailed, right? We're not going to chase grants haphazardly. We are going to execute on this plan. And another just quick random tip to throw in there is a lot of times I'll even bring the funding strategy to the funder when we're trying to piece together. Uh, it's a draft, you know, a lot of times it's an iterative process, right? Like you're going to have a draft funding strategy before you get to like the final one, even though it is a living document. And you say, hey, what do you think? Like, we're thinking that you would be the third funder that we would pursue once we've secured, you know, 100,000 from these two other sources. What do you think about our timing and strategy here? And that goes over very well because they see how you're thinking about the big picture. You're going to totally execute in making this happen. So I'm going to stop talking about that because I can go way deep on funding strategies, but understand that that is the entirely what we talk about in module two of grant writing from start to funded. I would love to teach all of that to you. I'm curious if you can add in the comment section below, what are you stuck with when it comes to funding research? Um, where do you find your grants? How do you decide which ones you go, go after? Do you have a plan for what grants you're going to be applying for this year? Whatever it is that you're confused about as it relates to finding grants, I'd love to help you try to tackle those. So post those below and that is all for today. Uh, that's it and I'll catch you at the next time.